Until something like Li-Fi comes along, one of these is still taking the strain. And as most of us know, our Wi-Fi connection throughout our homes isn't always perfect. So I've got a few tips, short of changing provider, that could help improve things. Most people are using a 2.4 gigahertz connection and there are 13 channels. One, six and 11 are the most commonly used. But if you try an app like this, Wi-Fi Analyzer, you can see exactly how many connections there are. It means that you could then go into your Wi-Fi settings via your computer and change the channel that you're connecting to, which should mean less interference from neighbors' Wi-Fi or even from baby monitors or microwaves. So first off, it's worth trying a bit of a cheap and easy DIY solution that I came across, and that's to create your own reflector. What you'll need is a bit of cardboard, some tin foil, and some glue. Stick down the tin foil, then all you need to do is fold it in a couple of places, and then you place it behind the router so that you reflect the signal in the direction that you want it to go may sound a bit unlikely and look pretty daft, but in the right situation, it can significantly improve your speed. If you're lucky enough to live somewhere where the size of the property is an issue, well, a Wi-Fi range extender could help. All you need to do is plug this into a power socket in an area where it's still going to get connection from your router, and then it should spread the signal further. Another option is getting a pair of power line adapters. One of them will be attached using a lead to your router. The second one will be plugged into any other power socket in the house. You can then attach your computer with a lead. Many of the newer models offer wireless connection too, creating a hotspot that smartphones or tablets can easily connect to. One option is a tri-band router like this one which, as well as having a 2.4 gigahertz connection, also has two 5 gigahertz connections. Now, that means that you may need to be nearer to the router, but it should provide a stronger and more consistent connection. Multiple users should get a decent signal at the same time, and because fewer gadgets use 5 gigahertz, there shouldn't be as much interference. Great. The problem is that some of the older devices you may want to get online with might not use it either. Not so great. And for some, as prices fall, a high data 4G contract could be the winner. It could work out cheaper, you won't even need a home phone connection, and it can have better upload speeds. What would then come in handy is one of these, a 4G router. The strength of your connection is of course dependent on the mobile network you're using, but it does give greater freedom as to where it can be placed. So play around for long enough and you may find the perfect spot.